Hi everybody! Why is he playing something on the guitar today? Because I have a new plugin for you and this is the Tukan Studios guitar amp. It took quite some time of uh, investigation and hearing and comparing again, hearing, research, taking many impulse responses uh, from different amps, uh, trying different amps without a cabinet, uh, measuring a lot. So, whatever, um, here's the plugin. So, what you just heard um, was the guitar directly plugged into a um, DI box that uh, was directly plugged into the interface. So, there's nothing special about it. Um, it's very simple and clean, no tubes nor nothing, uh, just regular stuff. And um, I used this um, guitar amp, the new plugin, and for reverb, a bit of the um, AC Tram reverb. And these were the settings um, that I played to you. So let's listen to that again. Now let's um, bypass both of the um, plugins and solo this um, so that you can hear the direct signal. For people who already used Guitar Amp plugins, um, this user interface should not be something um, very special. So um, it's very straightforward. Um, you have the Guitar Amp, where you can um, set a low gain or high gain, and the input gain or drive uh, knob, if you will. You have the equalizer, um, bass, middle, treble, and bright, uh, which can give you some extra pling on the highs and um, the output amount. Please have an eye on the um, output meter, so um, depending on what you dial in on the um, other um, knobs, um, the output might be um, reduced or, uh, or raised um, to get a good signal. Over here, um, you can choose from um, four different amps, and I think um, the graphics give you an idea which kind of amp um, I've been measuring and testing for that. Um, and you can switch the um, cabinets. So um, you have four different cabinets as well. And um, a little tip, if you press Alt and click on the cabinet, um, or press Alt and click on the amp, uh, amp and cabinet will be um, switched together. For all who would say um, that is a hidden feature, click the info menu and you see uh, the tip, alt and click, cabinet or amp, will switch them together. So that's not really hidden anymore. Of course, you can uh, choose from several microphones, uh, seven in this case microphones, and you can um, move the position from centered to um, not centered. And to go through all the features, um, you can deactivate the um, cabinet if you like uh, to use your own uh, impulse response. Uh, to activate it again, click on the microphone or on the cabinet. And um, if you want to use your own preamp or another plugin, you can bypass the um, amplifier as well. So now um, I've clicked on several knobs. Um, Let's hear again how it sounds now. So that's that. 
Um, let's go over to some twang sound surf uh, stuff. Where is it? Here. Um, and uh, see how it can sound um, on the um, yeah early 60s like sound. through the project um, I can tell you that um, this um, plugin uses uh, some impulse responses um, that are um, really um, recorded with um, with the microphones you see in the photos and um, the cabinets are highly regarded uh, guitar combo amps or cabinets while the um, the amplifier is calculated in this software, um, so that's not uh, profiled, if you want to call it like that. The amps were made from um, measurements and hearing sound impressions and testing and comparing until I found some algorithms that really uh, sounded uh, as the amps would sound. And by the way, that is my attempt. So um, there is a difference between the um, guitar amp simulation plugins that you can get from other manufacturers and my uh, guitar amp simulation. Because in order to sell their plugin, they um, provide a ready to use sound. And um, the sound they, uh, they deliver with their plugins is not really always how a guitar amp recording would sound. Um, so from my perspective as a sound engineer working with bands, um, I wanted to have a plugin um, that really uh, does the job um, as if I had this uh, guitar amp with that microphone uh, in this position and stuff uh, to give me the, um, the option to mix it in the mix and not um, having the plugin doing something that is uh, prepared for um, home users uh, who want to uh, switch to preset purple gain or master of puppets or anything um, to get the uh, the console sound and the um, post equalizer and stuff um, as well so here's the um, the dry guitar amp microphone signal sound as it should be so let's hear another example for that <laughs> Funny, isn't it? Of course, you can uh, put this plugin into MCP um, support, which is this mode, or TCP support um, for the arranger window, and um, you will see what's going on, which amp uh, or which cabinet, and um, which microphone, and where is it placed. So, if you want to um, change the um, the place for the microphone, um, you just click on the um, on the graphics. Um, with Alt and click, you can switch the microphone. And with Shift and click, you can switch the cabinet. Um, the amp actually is not switchable from this mode, um, and you can't adjust the amp. So it's just about the, um, the cabinet and the microphone. And as you can see, um, I have uh, now several uh, amps here, um, and I guess I have four tracks, yes, on the 
first four tracks. So it's on this amp with this microphone and different amp, different microphone and so on. Um, so let's hear how that sounds. So as you can see, um, there are many options of combinations of amplifiers, cabinets, microphones, microphone positions, um, amp knobs, how you turn them, uh, low gain, high gain and stuff, um, just as you would expect it from guitar amps. And um, I hope you like it. Try a bit until you find your sound you like. Um, I think that's possible. So that's it for today. I hope you have fun with this plugin and with the other plugins as well. Bye bye.